Hi, and welcome to our video 3.1, Elements and Compounds. We're just going to review some stuff we did in the beginning of the year here. So, just a quick review. Elements are pure substances. You remember that pure substances, when we say the word pure substance, we mean that all the particles in a given substance are the same. So, an element, of course, in this example of a pure substance that consists of one type of atom only. All right, so each... In an element, every single atom is going to have the same number of protons and electrons, and they can't be changed into something else by chemical reactions. Hydrogen will always be hydrogen, helium will always be helium, etc., etc. So just a little picture of some common elements, right? We see here, if we take a sample of copper, every single copper atom is the same as every other copper atom. Every single aluminum atom is the same as every other aluminum atom. Now we've learned about our Brinkelhoff, so with uh, things like oxygen and nitrogen, yes, every oxygen atom is like every other oxygen atom, but they appear in nature as O2. So every single oxygen molecule is the same as every other oxygen molecule. And same deal with nitrogen. Compounds are also pure substances. And definition review, it's two or more elements chemically combined. And compounds are always molecules, right? Where an atom can be in the smallest part of an atom is an element, the smallest part of a compound is a molecule. And compounds are formed by chemical reactions. In a compound, you have two or more elements combined in fixed proportions. All right, so when we say carbon dioxide, CO2, there's always one carbon to two oxygen. All right, so if we have two carbons, then we would have four oxygens. It's a fixed proportion. And these atoms are chemically bonded together, which just means they cannot be separated by physical means. And another important part of a compound is that the compound's property is different than the original elements. For example, sodium chloride. Right? If sodium, if you take sodium metal, place it in water, it'll react violently, even explosively. It's actually pretty cool to see. Chlorine is a toxic gas. However, when you put them together, you get table salt, which too much isn't good for you, but it's still something necessary for life. Another odd kind of compound are hydrates, or they're also called crystal hydrates. A hydrate is a crystalline compound in which ions are attached to one or more water molecule. And they'll be written out like so, right? So here we have a sodium carbonate, and then this dot. It's not like in math class where the dot means times, right? Say 3.10 would be 3 times 10 for 30. Right? It's a dot. It means a hydrate. That's why if you notice in here, I always, when I'm putting times, I just use the computer times of an asterisk and not the dot. Now we're going to see here, notice how water molecules are built into the chemical formula. And here's the water molecules. They position themselves around the ions in the hydrate. Now substances with out water molecules built into the formula are called anhydrates or anhydrous substances. Okay. Now the, the important thing to remember here is that when we have a hydrate, right, in this entire molecule there's two sodium atoms, one carbon atom, three oxygen atoms, and then 10 times 2, 20 hydrogen atoms, and then 10 times 1, 10 more oxygen atoms for a total of 13 oxygen atoms. Okay, that's going to be important in a, uh, in a couple of homeworks. All right, question time. All right, you should be able to do all of these. This is old, this is old, and this is also review. We should be able to identify each of the following as an element or compound. All right, that brings us to the end of 3.1. Hope it wasn't too bad, and I will see you guys in school.